As the cries to get rideshare drivers better protection continues, the family of a driver murdered this week reflected. Durant Terry reports from the memorial in Franklin Park. A solemn night over my shoulder, you can see candles flickering in the dark. Family and friends, they came out to make sure that people knew that this was more than just a rideshare driver. Just a kind-hearted person overall. The pain is heavy. Lily Ramos's heart still aches for the loss of her older brother, Javier Ramos. If I had a chance, I would have advised my brother against driving completely. Ramos worked for Uber. This week, a passenger shot the loving father during a carjacking, leaving him to die in the street alone. His sister tells me Ramos was fully aware of the danger rideshare drivers face in Chicago, yet he stayed on the job. As an Uber driver, you can select where you take, where you pick up or where you end up taking the drive, the passenger. So that's where it's unfortunate that he ended up in an unsafe neighborhood where this happened. As family, friends and fellow drivers pause to remember the life here in Franklin Park, they're also calling for companies to better protect workers. I am very upset with Uber because we have yet to hear from them, first of all. While Uber and Lyft are under fire, we've learned both companies are working with CPD investigators to provide data linking to many of the fake accounts the criminals are using. But drivers and families of victims say the companies are only getting involved after there's a crime. There has to be something done that can protect these drivers at that moment when their life is at risk. And as Ramos's family remembers him, they're also seeking justice. These orange ribbons, an indication of the violence they say is going on throughout the city. And they're also hoping that no other rideshare family will have to go through what they're going through. In Franklin Park, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.